In this letter, Paul begins with the image of putting on clothing so as to be attired as God's chosen ones. He uses baptism as the imagery with reference to clothing, saying that baptism is the moment when believers first put on the clothing of Christ. Just before this reading begins, he has told the community, you have taken off the old self and have put on the new self, which is being renewed. Their clothing is more than just an outer garment that they can easily change, but a sign of their inner and ongoing transformation in Christ. The garments they are now to wear express their conversion from the old way of life to the new. The virtues in which they are clothed are those that Christ himself manifested. Christ acted with compassion, kindness, and all the other virtues that prefer the good of other people. So too must they. Love is the garment over all others, for it creates the bond of perfection, completion, and harmony. Living in Christ's own peace, the believing community is called to form one body, with each one clothed in Christ himself. Three times in this letter, Paul reminds the baptized to be thankful, a virtue at the heart of Christian prayer and relationships. Paul's final words regarding the family are similar to the household codes of the first century, that is, the relationship between husbands and wives and children and their parents. Yet Paul's code goes beyond that, telling husbands and fathers to put on the garment of love, not bitterness or excessive control. And now the reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, you must also do. And overall, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. And fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The Word of the Lord. If you enjoyed hearing this reading and its interpretation, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you'll know which reading is being uploaded daily. Thank you and God bless.